morning, Sarah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to log into your website now. And I'm going to show you how to add products to the shop. So I'm not going to show you how to edit the website. So it'll just be hopefully a five minute video to show you what to do. So this is the link you need to log in. I will send you this link on the email. So when you click on the link, this is what you'll be presented with. It'll ask you for your username and your password. So I've set you up with V, V, V and login. So three capital and all this will be on the email. And then your uh, password. I'll send you this as well as Vital Login 2023. I'll click login. When you click login, you'll see the next screen that opens is an overview of your website. So once your website is live, the overview, the stats, there is everything will be here. But because it's not live yet, this is just two visits from me. Because it's not live yet, none of this will mean anything. So every time you log in, right in the center of the screen, it says edit. Obviously, when it's published, this will say published. Click edit. And the next screen that opens is the editor. So this is called a what you see is what you get editor. Any changes you make here when you republish it will be shown on the website, the live website. So I'm not going to show you how to edit this. I'm going to show you just how to add products to the shop. So on the left hand side are all the design elements. You shouldn't need to touch any of these sir, apart from e-commerce. Click on e-commerce. It says you've got the 10 product store, which is a store they give you for free. Click on Manage Store, the next page opens. And this is the dashboard that will show you what you need to do, how many visitors you've had, how many product views there's been, how many orders you've received, what's the revenue the store has made. It'll walk you through all of these sort of things. But what I'm going to do right now is just show you how to add a product. So I'm going to go over to the left-hand side where it says Catalog, and I'm going to click on Products. Now here I've added all these made up products just to show you how the store would look. So you can either delete all of these just by clicking in here, delete them all, and then click add a new product. Or just to get used to it, sir, I would recommend you just click on the products I've put, up, I've put up there and click here, edit product. Then you can simply edit everything. So I've dragged three pictures in here, drop them in, made up images. So this is called Gluathione. You drop the images in here that that, that uh, correspond to the product. So you might want to call this whatever the product is, vitamin C, injectable vitamin B. Give it a name. Put the products in here. So I'm going to show you. Just simply click upload an image. If the image is something I've already uploaded, it will be here in the image gallery. But if it's a new image you want to upload, obviously click upload images. Find on your computer where your folder is that contain all the images open the folder so say it's this one open the folder find the image that corresponds to that product make sure you've got it named properly so it's not just got a long camera name so all these of you see have got this is for a, a youth company i've all got names click on open it will upload to the website and it will drop in here you can then move these around if you want to delete any, just click the X button, it will delete. Click restore, it will restore. So it's pretty intuitive, it's trying to tell you what to do. Skew numbers, I'll explain that on a different video, but there for you stop control. Where it says wait here, you can get the local, the Royal Mail, or whoever you use, Hermes, DHL, whatever you're going to use as a carrier, they can calculate that for you off the weight of the product. Or you can set the post and packaging up yourself. And then here is the description. This is what you sent over, which is absolutely perfect. Just write it in there. Then just like Microsoft Word, you can highlight things, bold, change the colors. You can drop pictures and videos. You can change the background. But the best thing is here, keep these images at the top. Write the text in here. Keep it nice and simple. Headlines with a, a bold. The rest of the text, just like this. It looks great. I'm going to tell you about managed categories in a second. So you do that. Click on save. And it will save. If you try to leave the page without saving, it will prompt you, do you want to save this? So you can either click add new product here or click products again, whichever. You know, I always get into a habit of clicking products here. Click on this, change this. So the same thing. 
change the price, compare two price, you might have had a sale last month, or this month you're having a sale, so last month the price could have been 59, but now it's down to 29. All of these, I'll explain what these mean in a separate video. But I go to manage categories. So if I scroll up again here to categories, I've put vitamin range, mineral range. So you've sent over four categories, sir. So you want to change this. I'll let you change it to the category you want to change it to. So one of those four categories you sent over, change it here. Put an image in that relates to that category simply by clicking browse and finding the image. Write a description about that category. So this category is perfect for people who are low in, you know, just a little brief description of what the categories of these products are all about. Now, so Equid, the basic 10 product store, will let you have two categories. If you want to upgrade to another category, which is called a root category, so if you want to add another of your categories, you have to upgrade. Subcategory is, best description I can use is, if you're selling t-shirts, that would be the root category. If you were selling specialised women's World Cup t-shirts, that would be a subcategory. Then a category underneath that could be small, medium, large, extra large, baby. So you can categorise things and really get detailed. I don't know if that applies to your products. So once you've done all that, Sarah, added the products in. I would add all the products first, then we can sort the categories out after. Because if I click on edit product, you'll see you've added a product here. Scroll down, it says, do you want to drop it into a category? Yes, we do. So you'd have four categories in here. So this made up product and these made up images, is that a mineral or a vitamin or one of your categories? Or it could apply to both or it could apply to all four. So if you've got one product that is in two different categories at the same time, you can click them, click apply, click save. So that's how to add products. You can either then go back to the top and click add new product, whichever is the quickest for you. Or I would go back at the moment to products here. So I do want to leave the page. I didn't make any changes. And just get used to editing the product, have a play around here, then you could start from scratch. At the top, attributes, options, files, shipping and pickup, SEO, related products. I'll cover all those in a different video. Well, in fact, a, a far smarter guy than me will do it on the Equid channel. So I'll send you this link here and Equid have little six minute up to nine minute videos of how to do absolutely everything. So this is how to get started. This video, I'm going to take about 10 minutes to walk you through the key features you of the dashboard and help you get your store up and running. You'll notice here on the left, we have three main menus, store management, sales channels, and configuration. So you'll see he's talking about, this is the same here. The only thing he will talk about that you don't have, you'll talk about website. So you can see here it says website. Now the, the store, if you were to go with Equid, they give you a very, very basic uh one page website with it you can't personalize so ignore everything he says about website because you'll see here it doesn't show because you've got a full fully fledged website that equity is embedded into but everything else the sales channels the configurations the payment shipping and pickup is all covered here so i'll send you the link to all of these so really sir the sooner you can upload all your products we can drop all of these in here we can then turn it live then you could add the new categories. We could add the terms and conditions. Then I'll show you how to make edits to the pages of the website. Uh, and then it, it could go live as soon as you want. Hope this makes sense, Sarah, but please let me know.